bowels of Bengal are an enigma to the world. Their philosophy, their unconditional message of love, tolerance and cohesion has found many takers in the most advanced cultures of the world. The Baal doesn't believe in the divisions that keep people away from each other. Perhaps the strongest aspect of the cult is its secularism and its simple but stubborn faith in love as the center of the universe. <laughs> offers a direct communion with the inner god, or Munir Manush. No complicated rituals here, just looking at the world as one huge family of loved ones. The Bao cult draws upon a strong tradition of pantheism and secularism. It represents the spirit of protest against authoritarian religion in rural Bengal. Here is a philosophy of love and understanding, developed step by step over at least 700 years, if not more. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from the 13th century is often considered the greatest known Baal singer. He travelled all over India and influenced generations of singers and poets. Legendary poet Joydev is called the original Baal. He transformed the divine love of Radha and Krishna into love between human beings. Lalon Fakir from the 18th century is the greatest vanguard of modern secular Baal Fakir cult. Rabindranath Thakur accepts the Baal as a major influence in his cultural world view and actively encouraged his contemporary Baals. <laughs> Tagore's University Shantiniketan is bang in the middle of Baal Hoyt Heartland in Birbhum. Tagore was impressed with the depth and the songs of Nobunidash Baal, the most acknowledged Baal guru of his times. Nobunidash is Purnodash Baal's father. <laughs> Germany, America, England, Japan, France, Australia, all reverberate in the global resonance of the small cult from Bengal's Birbhum. Today, the music of the Baal is one of the most representative icons of Indian folk culture abroad. Baals know that their culture is strong enough to wade through outside influences. 
trick is to assimilate those influences and emerge stronger. The trick is to keep singing the love song of the world. After all, being a bowel is about erasing boundaries. It's about actively opposing all forms of man-made differences. The bowel is a mindset. It will stay, perhaps in a different form and backdrop. That's because the bowels of Bengal don't just sing, they live their songs. And when they sing, the world listens. The world sings to their tune.